Hello folks, in today's video we are going to see how you can execute your user data field all the time when your server reboots or is stopping and then starting. You know that by default user data field will be executing the first time you are launching a server but there are use cases where you want to execute the command again and again whenever the server is started and stopped and then again the cycle repeats. So that's what we are going to demonstrate. So basically what we need to do is make sure the cloud init or the cloud config modules are executed. So this is the tiny keyword that we need to add in our cloud config modules so that it executes each and every time. So I've written a very simple bash script here. Whenever the server is boots up, we are going to get a message into a file under temp and it will be on the today's date. So let us go ahead and see how we can do that. I'm just going to copy this. And let us move on to our user data field here. I am in the EC2 instance launch page and our advanced section you will find the user data field here. I'm just going to paste the entire text and make sure this keyword is there and then the cloud config modules are going to execute. So I'm just going to say next. Next here I'm just going to add a tag so that I can pick up this server user data and then just configure my default security group. I'm fine with that. I'm just going to launch here. So let us go ahead and launch our instance. So I'm just going to filter by the one that we are interested in, which we called as user data. And here my server is booting up. Let us go ahead and copy it and see our user data field is executed. Remember the file will be under slash temp. Here I am connected to my server. Let me move on to my temp folder. And you can see here there's a file created. I'm just going to open the file here. And you see that this file has been executed just now. If you go ahead and say date, and you'll find that the server rebooted about uh, 30 seconds back, and then we got an update here. So if I stop my server and start again, we will be seeing one more entry. So let us go ahead and see whether that happens. That means that my user data field is getting executed again and again. So the first step is to stop the server. Let me go ahead and stop it. And you can see here from running state, it is entered into a stopping state. You can see that the server has stopped completely. So let us go ahead and start it and see if my user data is going to execute one more time. So it is in pending state and let us give it a couple of minutes. Now that my server is started, let us go ahead and check in the server itself in the slash temp folder. So here you see here I got logged out. Let us go ahead and update the new IP address we got from the server. So I should be logging in now. And if I go to temp and since the file name is the same, let us go ahead and open it. And you see here there's a one more entry and if I go ahead and check the date timestamp here, you see here the new file entry was made about uh, 20 to 30 seconds back. So that is how you execute uh, your scripts again and again in case you want to modify it and use it for your use case. All you have to do is remove one line and paste your code. Let me show that. So if you come to the GitHub article, you'll find that this is where the script starts. All you have to do is remove this line and update your code and then go ahead and execute it. Then you should, your script should execute every time your server boots. If you have any trouble, go ahead and put them and happy automating your environment. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.